Ready? Okay, Chad, if you can explain what actually happened uh, on the night of the murder. Well, basically, come outside, and then this is just like a briefing what happened. I'll come outside, and then the boy, he come out, and he, was, he had two, like, he had a knife in one of his hands. And then I come over, and it, did he get me? He got me first, didn't he? Yeah, I think he got me first, and then someone, st and then he stabbed someone else. The date, yeah, he stabbed, stabbed Dave. And then I think Rob came in to try and tackle him with the knives. He tried, Rob tried to get the knives off him. And then, uh, unfortunately, Rob obviously got stabbed. Like, four times, four times like, he got stabbed, Rob got stabbed in the chest. And then he, he got taken up like, and taken away. And, yeah. and uh, everyone was just trying to get the knives off him. Rob, Rob, like, Rob was really brave though. Rob stepped in, tried, tried to get the knives off him and that. But he, unfortunately, no. He, but was there any altercation before this? Did, was there any reason for this yeah. guy to come out? What happened was before the week before, the boy the, he, he kept coming down, and I think the reason he, he was really annoyed this week was because he got he got turned away because it was too packed. It was too packed in there, and he got turned away, and I don't think he was happy. And he was really like he always he just, he just kept trying to start fights, and he just kept coming down like every week trying to start a fight and that. And then this way, I just, he, he come out with the intent to kill. He, he come out with an intent to stab someone. He knew he was going to stab someone that night. Uh, yeah. He, so the thing was, kill. this guy had been coming to this club, trying to get in here constantly, uh, occasions, was uh, refused entry. Yeah. And uh, this, what I'm trying to get at, was there an altercation between your mates and this guy, or did this guy just go absolutely mental and just? Um, no, no, I don't. He looked, didn't he like barge you in the night or something? He? He, he, he barged everyone. He'd walk around and barge everyone. He thought he was the dogs really in there. Yeah. He'd come down there on his own trying to prove like acting as if he had a name for himself and Flops. ended up trying to make him a name for himself by stabbing four people. But now he's, 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 he hasn't got a name now though. His, his name is, he's scum really. He's scum. Yeah, I, agree. I hope he rots uh, in he's prison. He's not got a name now, he's got a label and his label was scum. <laughs> people like that should never be let out on the streets again. I'll be rocks in a jail cell for the rest of his life. And we see him. I saw him at the hospital when I got up there. And he, he was laughing in the back of the ambulance, like I had no he remorse. Was out, he was shouting out like, oh, I "Fuck, fuck your mums! I want to uh, hope all your mates die and all this." Yeah, no. Like, as soon as he said that, in, as he, uh, as the police pulled him away, he started poking his tongue out to one of the boys, one of our mates. As the police were pulling him away, so he's wrong in the head. As the boys were on top of him, holding him down, he was just laughing. He's not there. He's not. He, he must have been on. He must have. Been on cocaine, so he must have been on some form of drug to just go that loopy in the head. Right. Well, I have to say, I mean, it's good that you didn't actually retaliate. We had him pinned down. You didn't turn the knife. The two on boys him. that did that, I've got the utmost, utmost respect yeah, for the two I, boys. Well, I've got a it lot was, of respect for them. It was for dangerous, Rob. but at the same time, it was brave, like to right. dive on top of someone, like because they dived on top of him, and one of them said, "I've got the knife." And as the other boy went to get it, he had the knife in his other hand and went like that into the back of his head. And Cut all up the back of his head where he tried to. A lot of people uh, were brave though. He attempted to kill him as well. It was just a random thing. If he caught him somewhere there, there could have been much more lethal. Right. I got off really lucky. I'm happy. Like with that, it, it's nothing compared to what other people got. Like I, I'm just, I mind just minor injuries compared to what everyone else got. It's Rob's family though. It's, it's all about them. Well, really, I do honest. hope you're free on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm going up to the city hall. Come down to city hall. Yeah, I'm going to we'll come rock down. We'll the boat with Boris Johnson and get him out there. See what he has to and say also about send this. a message to Brown as well, the yeah. Prime Minister, to get him down there to explain to you guys what's actually happening in uh, this madness. In yeah, definitely. I'll no, definitely okay, be down mate. there. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. See you guys. See you Take care, guys. See you around. You want to go to the camera? Yes. Well, there you go. It's quite clear what's actually happening in this capital city. Both Brown and Boris Johnson can't be here on this day to actually pay you tribute to the guys that took the knives off this madman and also give comfort to the family. This immigration problem in this capital city of ours has got to stop. When you put the percentages together now, it's quite clear that 14 murders this year and now only, the, only by murder the knife crimes get recorded by the press. This is a sick society and this is right at the doorstep of Brown's house. And Boris Johnson should have been down here this morning, not swanning off wherever he may be on the bank holiday. And when you see, if I say, 14 murders this year, I wonder how many real knife crimes have actually taken place in this capital city. Is it 10, is it 100, 200, 300, 1,000? Those aren't recorded by gang warfare. This is right out of control. And when it is that two murders a week take place in London, this is a sickening situation. And it's primarily down to those people coming into this country. And it's not all just the, uh, the fact of the... Uh, 
why people create these problems as well, but the majority, 75%, are done by ethnic minorities. And when only 33% of the population of London is ethnic minority, the crime figures speak for themselves. And the police are being brought off of these sort of real police issues onto statistics for the government to make sure enough cars are nicked, enough motorists are nicked, people that do a petty crime is nicked. But when it comes to murder, the police seem to have their hands tied by government statistics, and this is totally wrong. Boris, you better do something about this.